Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me today. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Now, let's go ahead and start. Today, we'll be creating a Hershey bar clutch. It's gold, white, and black. Now, let's go ahead and go to your left-hand side of your canvas. We're on design space. Go to your left-hand side. Instead of clicking on images, you go on projects. Then you go on your search box and you're going to type in clutch. And these are all your projects pertaining to a clutch. We're going to use the pebbled fox. You're going to click on it and here's all the information about the clutch. If you're making it leather, which is that's what it's intended, intended for, you can go ahead and continue to use it for your project. Now, we're making it with cardstock, so we're just going to go ahead and click on Customize. Once on your canvas, we're going to go to the top banner, and we're going to size it. It will be a 7.00 by 7.5. Now, what I want to do is, I have a cardstock that is, it's a heavy glittered cardstock, so I can't fold it, because if I fold it, it cracks and you can see the white core from that cardstock. So what I'm going to do is just place the cardstock, the glitter cardstock on this part here and on the back. And this will remain the uh, whatever color we're going to use. So to do that, let's go, let's click on the image, go to your layers panel, which is on your right hand side. You notice here, once your image is clicked on, you see it grayed out. So we're just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom where it says detach, click on that. Go to your score line and hide it. Click on the eye to hide it. Go to your shapes, click on a square, and let's just go ahead and click on the shape, unlock it, and let's expand it. And you know what, guys? I made a mistake here. Let's go back to your layers panel and bring in the, oh my goodness, the score lines. So let's just go, I'm not going to attach them. I'm just going to place this on top of that image, but below, a little bit below the score line. Now you go back to your score line and you hide it. You highlight both images. You go on the bottom of your layers panel and we click on slice. And we're going to have to bring in another clutch because I failed to duplicate it. And let's go ahead and delete what we don't need. Leave this where it is. Let's bring in the score line again. They're in the back, so we send it to the front. Let's go back to shapes. Grab that square. Again, expand, and I'm just going to cut this part. Here. Go to your layers panel. We're going to hide what we just cut a few seconds ago, and we're going to hide the score lines. And again, oh, let's put it a little bit further up. Again, highlight and slice. Delete. And we're going to bring in that right there. We don't need the score line, so we can go ahead and delete it. If we don't need that one, we can go ahead and delete it. Go back to your, the problem is when you go back to your projects, you won't be able to bring it back in. Let me show you. So what we're going to do before you start cutting, duplicate your image. This is what happens when you hit customize, it's going to ask you to replace it. So before you start cutting, You have to, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm sorry, before you start cutting, just duplicate that image. I'm gonna go to my projects and I'm going to grab it from here because I already created it. I'm just gonna go ahead and, wait, not from here. I am so sorry, guys. Oh. 
I'm so sorry. I'm just a little bit. wacky today <laughs> oh my goodness i forgot what i was gonna do okay let's just cancel let's go to file where it says cricut design space click new window it's gonna open that new window no, no worries just leave it where it is and where is my i'm just gonna go to my projects and i'm going to open that one that i just created Or not that one. Just go to projects. Let's go to projects. Let's get that clutch. And we're doing all this because I failed to duplicate it. I would just go back, undo if you want. If you want to go through all these steps again, you can undo and then redo. Let's click on customize. Let's bring it on the canvas. Highlight image. I'm on my Mac. So I'm going to click on Command C on my keyboard. We X out of it. You can click on Quit. Let's go on the canvas. Click on the canvas. Command V as in Victor to paste it. So it's right back here. Let's go back here to the top. We're going to size it. Again, 7.5. 7 okay. Now, this will go on here. You see, it fits on here with no issues. Now, let's go ahead and grab this one just to remind yourself what color you want to cut on your cardstock. So, instead of multiple, I'm going to go ahead and click on basic, basic cut. Before you do the basic cut, I am so sorry. Let's undo that. In order to change the color, let's detach those score lines. Let's go to your layers panel, hide it. Don't move this where it is. Click on that little box, click on white. Go to your score lines, place your score lines back on. And you're going to attach your score lines. Let's go on your layers panel, click on blank canvas. Click on the banner where it says color. Let's change it to this color so we can see it better. Now these two, I'm going to highlight these two. I'm going to leave it to basic cut, but I'm going to change the color to black. Just to remind myself that I do have to cut it on my black littered cardstock. And then that's it. Let's highlight both images. Arrange, send it to the front. And there you go, right here. That's how the clutch is going to look. But I'm not sure yet if I'm going to leave this one this size. I want it to have a look like this. So what? I, let me duplicate it, just in case. Let me. I want it to look like this. So you know what, guys? I think I'm going to leave it this way. I'm not sure yet. I'm still deciding on what to do. So you might see that I, on the tutorial, I have the full, the full top covered, but then I don't know if I want to make it half. So whichever I make, I'm going to show you both ways. If I make it this way, the process, the technique will be the same. I'll just do it like this and cut it and then place it on the clutch. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and cut. After you do all that, make sure you save your project. After you do that, you select the machine you'll be cutting on. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and you selected your machine. Let's go ahead and click on Make It. And if you have more than one, you can just go ahead and your project copies, you can add two. And then it'll all cut here. You can even add three and arrange it here on this side. Let's go click on it. I get overwhelmed with all of these, so I don't need all of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide it. And I'm just going to go ahead and hide it here. 
Now for this one, I don't want to waste my glittered cardstock. So I'm just going to click on those three little dots, move object, and move it to the same canvas. Because we'll be, you know, losing all this glittered cardstock. So I just put it right here. Let's grab this one again, three little dots, move object, and move it to the same one. Turn it around, twist it around, and we're going to place it. Hopefully they both will fit. Okay, right here. There we go. Let's lower this a little bit. I don't want it to be touching. It has to be inside that red square. Now, we have them here. So we have three clutches. So that's good. And then this one, you can only fit one on a 12 by 12, unfortunately. Now, for the base of the clutch, I'm using a 100-pound white cardstock. And then for the glittered cardstock, this is a, I think I'm not mistaken, I think it's 85-pound cardstock. Let's go ahead and click on Continue. Once you're here, you connect the machine. It will connect the machine that you selected on your canvas. You go ahead and stick your white cardstock onto your mat, load it to your machine, and then it's going to ask you, I don't know why it's doing this. It's not connecting my machine. I'm going to have to come back. Okay, here it is. I'm going, you could choose the 100 pound cardstock, whatever cardstock you're using, you're going to choose it from here, 65 pound or 100 pound cardstock. You stick it onto your mat, you load it to your machine, you edit your tools. I like to, I don't like using the double scoring wheel. Why? Because I have to go back to my machine, click it, and then take off, take this off, put the blade in, and cut the clutch. If I have 20 of them to make, I don't want to go in the back and forth. So what I do is edit tools and I use my scoring stylus. I click apply and then I don't have to go in the back, you know, the back and forth. Then I click on the fast mode. Once you have it in your machine, you press the flash and go button. Once you do that, take it out of your machine, go to your glittered cardstock. You're going to stick your glittered cardstock onto your mat. And then here I click on poster board because this is pretty thick. And then the fine point blade stays the same and then you load it to your machine and you press your flash and go button once you do that i'll see you guys back at the table so we can start assembling okay we're back here at the table we have our materials i have some velcro dots scissors little tweezers our glitter glue i have my embellishment and my gold chain. The embellishment, I bought these embellishment years ago. And when I say years ago, I'm talking about years ago. What it is, I had bought them on eBay. And back then, you were able to bid on these type of embellishments. And I used to get 100, an example, for 58 cents, 75 cents. It all depends the bid. I was never over a dollar fifty on these bids, and I have huge amounts of these types of embellishments. With that being said, I don't know anywhere else where you can get these. You can try AliExpress or any other any craft store, but at the craft store, they might be a little bit on the expensive side. The price will be a little bit high, most likely. But like I said, I bought them on eBay years ago, so I cannot put a link because I have bought numerous items on eBay over, over the years. I cannot go back and start typing in, you know, where I got it because it's, if I can do that, well, you can go on eBay also, you know, and type it in and look because it's too much. I have more than a hundred purchases on eBay. And for me to go pinpoint the year I bought it, it's very, very difficult. Maybe you can type in on eBay rhinestone gems or embellishment rhinestone because I get a lot of questions about these rhinestones. 
I received an email yesterday about it because someone was making some 50th birthday purses and were asking about the embellishment, but I couldn't say anything. And I think they got a little bit upset because I didn't have a link for them. But you can always go on Google or on eBay where I bought it and you can type in, in gold embellishment. But I, I can no longer find them like for bid because I don't need them. I don't need to purchase anymore because I have, like I said, tons, bins of them. The chain, I found it on AliExpress. And after I found it on AliExpress, I went on Alibaba and there's a vendor who has cases. So guess what? I bought a case. It took a while to get here, but it was worth it because I worked with the seller. And since I'm a highly noted buyer on Alibaba, I mentioned, you know, that I have bought with this other seller, which I buy tons of stuff. And they gave me a nice discount for the shipping because the highest part of the highest price is the shipping because it comes from China. But whoever is out there that needs to buy in bulk, Alibaba is your way to go. If you try and work with the vendor, you have to work with the vendor and tell them, listen, you know, can we work with the with the shipping? If I buy such and such cases or, or pallets, can we make a deal? You know, I'm going to be an ongoing customer like that. And they will make a good price for you. They will give you a good price. Now, it took me maybe the second or the third buy to have a good, good discount with this vendor. So, like, like I said, if you're not, if you don't make treats like that, you just want it for one time, well, then you can go ahead on AliExpress and get it. Or you can go on Amazon or any craft store. Like, it's just for gifting. Well, you can just go any craft store and type in gold chain. Next, I have the base of the clutch. It comes out just like this. What I did, I just folded it. And then I have the parts for the clutch. I did not cut the clutch on this type of cardstock because this cracks. When you fold it, it will crack and you can see the white core of the cardstock. I have my 1.55 Hershey bar and I have the foil wrap. The gold foil wrap. I will leave the link in the description. I bought it from foilman.com. So this will be the foil for the Hershey bar. Okay. Now for the clutch all you do is I recommend liquid glue because with the hot glue it will bulk it up a little bit so I'm just going to go ahead and apply glue right here on these both tabs and hold it on for a couple of seconds make sure not to spread the glue like I just did a whole bunch Just go ahead and press it down. Grab your cutout and we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna grab the cutout, we're gonna add a generous amount of glue. We're going to center it here. And then again, we're going to take the second cutout. We add a generous amount of glue and we're gonna place it on the front tab. Okay, let's set that aside to dry and let's grab our Hershey bar and let's wrap it up. You go on the sides, first one side, next, and then with your thumbs, this is what you're going to fold here. And then you lift it up with the thumbs, holding it here, holding it here, right? And then you lift it up, squeeze, go back, and same technique. I forgot my double-sided tape on this one. So... You can add double-sided tape on here. Let me add a little bit of glue. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue 
of hot glue because I forgot my tape. Okay. And you seal it. And you're good to go. Don't worry, it's not going to melt the Hershey bar. Of course, if you put a whole bunch, yes, it will, but... Okay, now, while this continues to dry, again, go back in, pat it down, spread that glue. Grab the glue dot. Where you see these open dots, that's where you're going to place your glue dots. I place both at the same time and then once I close it I lift it up and then it'll be centered and then you can add your chocolate bar and then when you close it it'll be something like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the chain The chain, I'm going to cut it at 12 inches. And then I'm going to add the hot glue on the end right here. And then place the chain. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add the little bit of glue here on the end. Grab our tweezers and I place... Right here at the end. And we're going to go ahead and press it down. Remove the excess of glue. While it's warm, you could remove the glue because it will not tear your cardstock. You guys, you guys can see it. It will not tear your cardstock. Let's do this on the other side. Okay, once you do that, let's go ahead and place our candy, our Hershey bar right inside. We compress, clean it up a little bit, and then I'm going to grab my embellishment. Now, about this embellishment, you have to use hot glue or I'm gonna take the, can the Hershey bar out because I have to press it down. You have to use hot glue, generous amount, but not to steep on the side because this will this hot cardstock will not hold. But I have another type of glue that I use for these embellishments. This is the Cole, I think it's called. I will leave the link in the description. It's very hard glue that if you use it in large amounts, you have to use a mask or well-ventilated area. But this, I'm just going to use a small amount of it. So I don't need that. But I do apply a generous amount here on the cardstock. And then I will add a little bit of hot glue here. So it can help it just set on the cardstock, but then leave it, I leave it for maybe 24 hours to dry because of this type of glue. Okay, let me just bring in my glue gun and just see a generous amount, not a generous, a little bit of a hot glue, and then you place it right on top of that same or on the side that glue that you just placed on the cardstock. And the only reason I'm using both of them is because, like I said, the type of cardstock. This is a heavy, heavy cardstock. Okay, there you go. Let me go ahead and open this. Place this inside. And we are done with our clutch. Just press it down until it seals. Okay? Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I will place a little bit of more pictures right at the end of the video. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. It's a purse that goes with this same theme. I didn't want to put it in the same video because it was it's a little bit long. It's done by hand, not a cutting machine. Okay, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And as usual, happy crafting.